guys, so I have been using every ounce of my willpower not to open this box that came through the post. I filmed probably like, it was a long time ago, a video on Hell's Bells, which is kind of like an offensive crockery um, depop shop. And then I got some more stuff from her not long after I filmed that video. I did film it, but I planned to save that footage until I had another like lot of things from her. And today is the day, today is the day I have another lot of things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the clip. So rewind many, many months ago. I'm sure things look very different, but I will see you on the other side where I'll be opening this amazing box. Hi guys, so I am finally home. I'm not sure when you're gonna be watching this, but I've just got back from being away for three weeks. If any of you haven't watched my previous Hell's Bells haul, I will link it down below. In it, I said that I was thinking about buying some other things and I'm sure I was gonna make a haul in the future for some custom bits. Now, I am waiting on a few custom bits, so I thought I would film like an unboxing of a few bits I bought earlier on this week and then add another clip to the end of this video of the other things that I end up getting custom made. Again, I have opened the box, but I can't actually see anything because it's all nicely wrapped. On top she does have a little letter just saying thank you and how she's still looking for some of the pieces for my other custom orders. Okay, so there's something wrapped. Oh, okay, I'm guessing this is the cup that I ordered. Ah, oh, lollipops. She said that she was gonna throw something in for me as a little surprise. So I'm definitely going to be saving this one for my boyfriend but these two I will be devouring myself. Oh, this is so good. I absolutely love I love the fonts that she chooses when she does her work. So it says, I only drink blood, which is relevant. And of course, like all her other pieces, she does have the HB at the bottom for Hell's Bells. So I think this lovely wrapped thing is like the, yeah, it's like the saucer for the cup. So it just goes so nicely together. And I feel like this will go so nicely with my other As Black As Your Soul cup and saucer set. My favourite thing that Hell's Bells does is this type of like bleeding writing. It's like kind of like drippy. On my other pieces I had it in black and a sort of like silvery, like grey colour. And I just think it's so, so pretty. It's like my favourite font in the world. I'm hoping that over the next kind of couple of years, while I'm kind of getting bits together for moving out, I'm gonna end up with like a whole load of these kind of tea cup and saucer sets so that when I actually move out, I can have these as my actual like cup and saucers and I won't have to buy any other ones. So I've got two other plates and both of them are kind of suicide squad, suicide squad themed. And when I saw these plates, I absolutely just, I loved them straight away. And then I kept thinking about them and I was so glad when I went back for a late night shopping spree and saw that they were still on sale. So, this is the Harlequin one. Oh, my, the paint on here is so good. I don't understand how she is so talented at doing this. Like, I don't understand how you would even go about doing this, but, but here is a plate. Look how amazingly well done these two colors are. All of the plates that I've got have either been in like black or red. How is it going down like that? I just really like the way it kind of fades out and it sort of scrapes down. And then of course it has the little X's in the middle and then it says rotten at the bottom. And again, it's in a really, really cool font. This is such a good idea and it goes so nicely with the other plate that I'm just about to show you. And of course it does say whoop, Hell's Bells at the back of the plate as well. Just like all of her pieces, seeing them in person, they just look even better than the pictures. Like in the pictures, they look amazing, but seeing them in person, it's just absolutely unbelievable how talented this lady is. Also, the paint that she uses for this crockery is a really high quality. It's not like gonna chip off or anything. And I feel like you'd be able to actually use these plates and wash them up afterwards and they'd be fine. But I probably will never use these because I like to have my plates sort of hanging up on display. So the last plate I, what? She has put a surprise plate in here. There's literally like, oh my goodness. I thought the surprise was the lollipops. <laughs> Thank you, I'm so excited. I don't know what it is, but I'm so excited. See, it says surprise. I thought that was just like packaging at the bottom of the box. Okay, 
I'm gonna res I'm gonna resist the urge. I'm gonna open this one first. So this is the one. This is the Joker. I'm sorry. I'm like my head's gone off on one. Um, this is the Joker one, and of course it's got the like um. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> and it's got that classic like ha 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 from Suicide Squad Joker, and I just think it's so nice. And again, it's incorporating a little bit of colour, which is something which I thought was really kind of unique about these plates. Like the colour of them really popped out to me. Again, I absolutely love the way this is done. I love how it's like slightly off centre and it's slightly going onto the border. And I also like how she hasn't done all of them like green and black. She's just done a select few. I think that looks really, really nice. And again, it's got this kind of like really rough looking font, but at the same time, it's done really neatly and precisely, which is a hard skill to get to get something to look neat and professional, but still have that kind of rough edge to it. I think this looks so good. And I'm going to show you next to the other one so you can see what I mean by the colours popping. I feel like they just go so well together. It's like the perfect pair. Joker and Harlequin, they just go together so well. I'm so happy with these. I swear these only cost about £11 or something. It's ridiculously cheap. This lady needs to like triple her prices because these are worth so much more and I'm so excited to have these in my collection. Okay, it's time. It's time. Okay, the surprise. I can see that it's got like a little blue rim to the plate. No. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is so cool. I can't believe it. This is literally the most perfect plate I've ever seen. Ah! I'm literally speechless. I don't really know what to say. Thank you so, so much. I absolutely, I love, it just looks so good. The fonts are just perfect. And the little bat at the, thank you so much. Thank, oh my goodness, thank you. Okay, I just had to take a little breather for a moment, but this is what I was hyperventilating over. Look how cute it is. It's our very own haunted bat plate. And I just love, it's my favorite font, like I was saying earlier. And I love the font that she's done, the the and the bat in. It's definitely very spooky and very Halloween-y. And the bat at the bottom, it just finishes off the whole thing. I feel like this may have just overtaken my love for the as black as your soul cup and saucer. I think I now have a new favorite item from Hell's Bells. And she's written a little thank you note at the back and of course Hell's Bells. I cannot, oh, I'm so excited by this. Thank you so, so much. This is gonna go like pride and place. I'm gonna try and somehow like hang it behind me so that everyone sees it during my videos. I'm so happy. I've now reached the ultimate height of happiness in life. I cannot thank you enough. I absolutely, I'm always left on like a massive excited high afterwards like I'm like buzzing off with like oh, I'm so happy I'm so excited and who knew you could get so happy and excited over like crockery but this lady really is amazingly talented I don't know how she does it but guys you need to need to check her out I will put all of her information down below this video is probably going to be really long because I know I've just cried about this for about 15 minutes. <laughs> but I will see you sometime in the future. Bye! As you can probably tell, that was a long while ago. I can now confirm that all of the plates got in that box are up on my wall. One of them is actually like... Can you see it? Probably not. There's one like right there hidden behind that pumpkin. <laughs> um, fantastic. And if you watched my Spooky Box Club when it was the vampire box, I used the mug that I got then. So in here I believe that there are some sort of Christmas related ones um, and some cat ones because we do love our cats. So I'm super excited. As usual, I haven't actually seen what's in here. I just talked to the owner of Hell's Bells, told her a few ideas that I liked and as usual she got on with it and I'm pretty sure they're gonna look amazing because every single thing that I've ever bought from this Depop shop
has just looked like beyond description amazing so anyway straight up inside i can see lots of like bubbly wrappy sort of stuff and paper because as we know these are ceramic so they could break oh my god i'm so excited oh i just okay i'm gonna start with this one so this is one that she had in her shop now when i got the oh relates so well when from the previous clip you should have seen that i opened a joker and a harlequin plate this one went up for sale around the same time it was around the time that suicide squad came out so there's a little bit of a kind of clue as to how old that clip was um and she bought out this one which i love it says damaged it's a joker plate so in the recent um oh it's so good <laughs> in the recent um suicide squad film um he has i think it's damaged there maybe i'm wrong but he definitely has like a tattoo that says damage it's in this exact font i saw this and i really liked it and i was like which one should i get should i get the harlequin and joker plate or should i get this one so i went for harlequin and joker but this one i can see right now i have a nice gap next to those ones so i feel like this is going to be perfect like in between them i just love it so much as you can see she's done it in the exact correct font like it looks so good it's on this sort of white plate with a it's kind of is it silver it kind of like a silvery gold it's like one of those metallic colors which is like in between um it looks kind of gold there but then sort of silver okay whatever <laughs> um but it's really nice as always it says hell's bells on the back i have definitely got my collection growing like my one of my walls is nearly completely covered in plates already so i just i'm obsessed with these they're just so good and i think I really like collecting plates and I think by personalising them and giving them a bit more character it just makes it even more fun and interesting. As always the paint she's used is just amazing, it feels such high quality and I feel like if you wanted to you could actually use these plates and it wouldn't come off because it's like a proper ceramic paint although I do use mine for display purposes. There's also a note in here that says thank you again, I hope you love it all, had fun with the customs as usual, thanks so much, which is on her personalised Hell's Bells paper. Um, as always, I will leave all of the information down below, where to find her on Instagram, where to find her on Depop. So it's not that hard to find her at all, because literally if you type in Hell's Bells or like crockery, it just comes up straight away. So this one, oh my goodness, this is so perfect. <laughs> so this is one that I talked about getting for my boyfriend for Christmas and it's even better than I expected. Oh my god, it's so good. So if any of you know the film Deadpool, it's one of my boyfriend's favourite films. I absolutely also love it so much. Like Deadpool came out and then Suicide Squad came out and it was just an amazing time. So many, like, I just thought both of those films were absolutely incredible. Um, but when Deadpool came out we went to see it like on Valentine's Day and it was just so funny it's just the humour of it was literally on point for our humour and I wanted to get him some kind of like Christmas Hall Halloween <laughs> obviously I've got Halloween on my brain Christmas present um but I couldn't really find anything I've got him like uh one of the the what do you call them you know these kind of pop figures well, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, I got him one of those, a Deadpool one. I've already got, he's already got that. Um, and I was looking around and I like, really couldn't find any like good Deadpool things. So if any of you know any nice um, Deadpool merchandise, do let me know. But, so she made me a plate with, I think there's like some quotes which are really recognisable for Deadpool, but this I think is one of the less recognisable ones, but I still think it's just as funny. Honestly though, I feel like potentially you need to have watched the film to understand why this is so funny. It's just kind of the context of it, but I love how she used a cat plate. We couldn't think of what kind of plate to use, but a cat goes so well with the quote because it's talking about kitty litter, as you can see. And she's even added a little mini Deadpool there, which really is good because I feel like this quote, I feel like this quote, because it's not one of the most well-known ones, you may look at this and think like, uh, what? <laughs> what is going on um because it's not one that you automatically think like deadpool it's not like and um, that's why i wore my red pants and things like that it's it's slightly more of a subtle one but i love it so much and i'm pretty sure he's gonna love this one too i did actually get another plate which has a cat on it so i'm excited i can see it right now oh my god i can see it i'm so excited randomly in the middle there's some sweets 
some refreshers and some snap and crackle don't know what they are and banana skids <laughs> what where are these from they sound really good though banana and toffee saving these it's like trick or treating okay so in here okay i think they're both in here i got some little tree decorations my tree is right there there's my tree it looks so good um but i saw that she was selling these so i thought i'd get one for me and one for my friend this is wrapped in a really kind of nice tissue paper i think it's called the queen on it it's like the queen who's drinking tea <gasps> look how cool this is ah so this was my one if you couldn't tell so it says crazy cat lady because that's what i am and i love how she's done the dripping font this is like my favorite font that she ever does i just love it so much it's just kind of halloweeny and then she's put little cats at the top it's so cute and it's it's actually like a really nice quality it's a little bit heavier than i expected it to be but i'm either gonna put this on my tree or I'm gonna hang it above my bed. I can't decide yet. Like, I feel like it would look quite nice above my bed. She did have another one for sale, which I was gonna buy, um, but I told her I was literally happy to have the one that um, had up for sale already, or like a different one. And I am so pleased that she made me this one because I love this one even more than the other one. Just look at the font. Like, look how much detail there is within this. Like, this lady is literally crazy. Like, she has crazy skills. So the other one in here is for my friend. Oh, I love this one. He is gonna love that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so this is a Christmas present for one of my friends. Um, he is a crazy cat man. I felt it wrong to get him a crazy cat lady one. So I got crazy cat Susan, cause I call him Susan. On the back, she also put a personal note because you can get little messages on the back and it just says, Jessica, I don't want salad, which is a little bit of a personal joke. If any of you have seen that cat meme where it's like a ginger tabby cat and he's really fat and he's like, no, I don't want salad. Anyway, <laughs> getting off topic. I love this font. This is like the coolest. It's kind of, she's used this font in her other one and it kind of reminds me of like a tattoo font in some way and I love how clear oh, it's just so good I'm just so pleased with this and I'm sure he's going to love it and now we have matching mine super spooky his is less spooky because he doesn't like too many spooky things and it is amazing I just realized that she's kind of used the um, American Horror Story kind of font it looks so good. Is this literally, yeah, I'm, so I'm like looking over there to my normal people scare me plate and it's the same font and it's just, it is like better than I am at. See, literally, when not, I talk to her about stuff, she's like, oh, what kind of thing, like what kind of font would you like? And like, how would you like it to look? And she knows that I like my kind of spoopy fonts, but I just leave her to it because honestly, like guys, if you're gonna buy anything from her, just let her free reign it because I'm always so happy with the things that she makes, like the way she makes them in her style. Like, so again, it's another cat plate. It kind of matches. Um, I feel like it's from the same range as the Deadpool one. Like, yeah, they're the same size. And this one has a little spooky cat in it because he's got nice orange eyes. It says, I'm not drinking alone if my cat is home. <laughs> like, I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'm so sad um, but it's got like the American Horror Story um, font around the outside it's got my favourite spooky dripping writing in the middle and these cute little cat paws I love this so much this um, I want to say it's my favourite one but I literally can't choose like I'm here like oh yeah this is my new favourite and then I'm like looking over there like no my Halloween Queen one's my favourite and then I'm like oh no my Joker one's a favourite and I'm like oh no my Haunted Bat one's a favourite and I'm like oh I can't choose this is definitely a contender for my favourite plate it's so good and look at the font I've probably said this a million times but look how neatly she does it if I did it it would just be smeared all over the place but she does it in the most classy way I think that's why I find them so funny is because it just looks so, so professional. And some of the things she writes on the crockery are just absolutely horrendously funny. I love this so much. Of course, it says Hell's Bells on the back. I don't think I'm going to need to keep telling you that because it's on the back of everything. Um, but I'm so pleased with this one. And I have one more, which of course is cat themed because of course we've been having a cat themed day today. This is another personalised one. 
and it looks so good so don't worry guys i know you're probably thinking right now she hasn't added any bat themed things into this haul don't you worry your pretty little heads because i've got a bat slash cat slash tat slash beard plate now and it is so good again again i left it somewhat free reign to do the fonts and she did them perfectly as always i'm not gonna say it says house bells on the back but it does say house bells on the back and oh, i'm just gonna have to show you it's so good it says i love cats bats tats and beards because that is so accurate to my life um <laughs> i actually i kind of got inspiration for this plate from another one that she sold which is like i love cats and something tea i can't remember but she does like quite a few different things which is like i love and then a list so i thought like i'd think of one that was semi to do with more like my life because like some of them are like pizzas da, 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 da. i'm like yes 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 and then it's like yoga pants and i'm like mm, i don't really like yoga pants so i was like you know what i'll just ask for a custom one and i could not be happier with this oh, i love it so much so she's put cats in this really nice fancy writing and it's got a cute little cat there she's put bats in our like favorite spooky writing there tats in that tattoo font that i was just talking about and also beards in this very like block writing it reminds me of something i'm sure like maybe this is just a font like is this just a font on word or something this font reminds me of something maybe it's from a show maybe not I feel like all the fonts go perfectly and this is definitely a list of things I love and I wanted them to rhyme. Well, I wanted the first three things to rhyme and then the last one I was just like, I'm bid, that will do. <laughs> but I love this plate and I also really like the green, like can you see that? The green is like popping behind the black. Like I haven't actually got any um, green plates other than I like, I have the Joker one with the ha 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 with the green in the background which I really really love but I haven't got any like original crockery that was green and i can't remember if i chose this one i feel like i may have chosen this plate maybe i didn't i can't remember it seems like a big jumble because i'm literally the most annoying customer you can ever get because i just change my mind continuously I'm like oh can i get this can i get this actually no can i change that no actually no and then i confuse them and she's like wait did you want four plates or five plates and i'm like seven plates <laughs> like, i'm just literally the most confusing person but customer service wise as i said in my original original video um of her girls she's literally like the kindest lady in the world she just puts up with us annoying customers she's never rude and when i message her at stupid times and night she is always very quick to reply and also she's very like accepting like i feel like if i was her and people were like oh can i have this really nice girly plate i'd be like no you are getting spooky font um but she is very good at adapting to people's likes and needs <laughs> she knows i need a little bit of spooky decor so thanks for bringing some spooks and some halloween vibes back into our lives as for packaging as you can see i am now surrounded by one two three four plates and two hangers and they're all in absolute fantastic condition none of them are broken none of them chipped none of them are cracked and there's still a load of bubble wrap and paper and stuff in these this box so she really does wrap it well and without showing you the whole of my address um you can see that she um has got fragile stickers all over it honestly packaging wise customer service wise 10 out of 10 free sweets as well 11 out of 10 just amazing mad skills 12 out of 10 like literally i cannot i i cannot stress enough how if any of you have a depop account or if you don't have a depop account go and make a depop account and just go follow her shop like even if you can't think of any kind of custom pieces you want i would just follow her for her regular pieces because like things like this she is really good at keeping like up to date with what's going on she does a lot of like up to date humor things but also some like old throwback stuff i mean i'm gonna go through her page right now like i saw her crazy cat lady hanger and like it kind of i really wanted it and then it kind of inspired me to think of other things to do with it so definitely follow her and i'm not even kidding right now one of the only things i search on depop is literally hell's bells like i'm gonna literally prove that to you right now so i've literally got my app which takes 10 years to open and if i go on search and i go to type and i just click people she's literally the first person that comes up because i search her shop so often 
and as you can hopefully see she has loads of new stuff it does go really quickly nowadays because she just so ah oh, there you go that was the original crazy anyway i could sit all day blabbering about how amazing her shop is but i'm not going to i'm going to leave it down to you to go and look as i said leave everything down in the description that you need hopefully everything went okay with adding in that extra footage i'm sure it would do but if you've got any questions or comments please do leave them though i hope that you're still feeling extra extra spooky thank you for all your really kind messages on my last video that i uploaded also it has been really nice to see all of you guys support and it has really really helped if it's sunny where you are i hope that you're enjoying the shade and i will see you next time bye